Well, we all like kind of, well, we see what Jordan likes. He likes those singing, dancing, animated fucking things. So they buy him one almost identical to it, if not the identical one. Grandpa, I think, did. He was coming back home late one night from working at the post office and brings him another one. And then, well, Grandpa and Grandma came back every weekend and they just decided, well, hey, these animatronic toys are like awesome. So they started buying them and buying them. And, and then like Jordan had like 17 <laughs> fucking battery opera toys where you just clapped, you know, and they would like dance and sing and stuff. And Jordan was like, totally like, that's it. That's it. And I think that's when you're, because you have that, you know, um, Alzheimer's, not Alzheimer's, <laughs> but that autism, it was like, okay, well, Jordan, I mean, he would line them all up in a row and he would like, he would have duplicates of the Santas, the hip hop Santas. You know, hip-hop well, Santas. not, I never had duplicates, hip hop Santas, but the cactuses. Yeah, the I... cactuses. <laughs> <And> <laughs> That's when we really noticed. And the gorillas. Something was wrong with Jordan because he would like, you know, even though you had four or five of the gorillas. Or the same the Santas, exact ones. You know, he was. I could up, tell each one apart. And everything would have to be quiet. <laughs> everything would have to be quiet. And then he would clap his hands and then he'd watch to see if they were all in sync in time exactly the same. Almost, and they never, almost, they never were. Yeah, None of them were OCD. ever. And then it was like Jordan's whole playtime after school or kindergarten or whatever, <laughs> would be like lining these things up where there was like four or five cactuses, seven gorillas, or two hip hop fans. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's all the toys the poor kid had. <laughs> <laughs> so he would line these up, you know, he had different categories, even though it was like four categories, you know, cactus, you know, apes, or Santas. <laughs> he would get home from kindergarten or daycare or school or whatever the fuck it was. He would line them up. You know, fresh batteries in them, and if they would like, then he would like start this one a little, a little sooner. Yeah, and I see if the other seven would catch up, and, they'd and they do, at the they same do. Time. Yeah, it, it, and that's all he fucking did, all the time. And it was like, <laughs> well, that's kind of cute, but kind of, ugh. <laughs> 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 you know, and it was like, well, then it was like. Fucking, I think KB Toys was in town. Yeah. And then it was like, well, let's take Jordan down to KB Toys. Fucking <laughs> just overwhelming fucking, you know, toys. Weasel water, balls, walking pigs, ball, just the, the army Jesus, men. <laughs> army men, everything going off at the same time. He's like, Jordan's like. So, yeah. all it took was, hey, Grandpa, you know, hey, Grandma, this is what I like, you know, <laughs> yeah. and then introduce more oh, yeah. fucking animatronics. And it was anything that moved. Anything, uh, that moved. They, anything Like, that most moved. of the people in the community have one specific thing they like, but I was, like, everything. Yeah, he was I was, everything. like... And then <laughs> it was started, and it was, like, unstoppable after that. Yeah. And I was kind of like, well, you know... <laughs> What do I do? What do I do? You know, you know, because that's not normal. <laughs> Jordan, that's not normal. Because when I was a kid, you know, it was like, okay, if I have a volleyball and a basketball and a baseball and a football, that's all I need. But Jordan just kept needing all these animatronics just to, I don't know, entertain you. I mean, yeah. a football would entertain you or baseball or whatever. It was all these toys that you would need to oh well, okay times have change you know maybe kids are different so we let it buck for a while you know but once you know it got too far along it was like oh my god i think there's something it eventually escalated it eventually escalated into the halloween room yeah but, uh, and then here it is 25 years later and we're still battling that with you yeah you know and it's like well you know what do you do i mean do you be like a fucking dictator and Stop it! You know you ain't gonna do this no more. You just let the dream live and see where it takes you. You know, so that's what we decided to do. You know, I don't really play the stuff out as much anymore because it breaks all the time and it's older, so it's it doesn't last as long. And that's <laughs> but, smart. So that's smart. Yeah. You know? That is smart on your yeah. part. <laughs> <laughs>
I mean, it broke a lot back then, and it breaks more now since it's older, <laughs> you know. Yeah, but at your age in life, I mean, that was okay when you're younger. But yeah, exact. Yeah, I know. I and I kind of like yeah. You have to prepare for. I when know. I die. I mean, we're at the age. I mean, we could have a heart attack or cancer at any time. You know, you have to you have to be ready for life, man. You know, so you can't spend your fortune on the stuff that since you have no siblings, if no one's to take care of that stuff, I mean, serious. Jordan, when your grandpa and grandma had that house on 26th Street there? Oh, yeah. When your grandpa and grandma had that house, I counted at that time, you had $80,000. $80,000, you know what $80,000 is? You had $80,000. I mean, I, I just did a fast figure in my head and just figured what everything cost. You had $80,000 worth of stuff that was enough money to go to college that was enough money to buy a house that was enough money to buy a new car and till this day you're 25 years old you're still buying that stuff and wasting your money not much though not as much but... thank god because you're running out of room <laughs> yeah. but you know that was that was six seven eight years ago you know you're you have it you have more than what I have to retire on in my life in, in animatronic toys. And that's a lot of fucking money. That's a lot of money. You know, and what? that's that's where you have to make the decision in your life, you know, to where enough is enough and, you know, just do what you got to do, you know, you know, not, not spend so much money. I mean, I have a $10,000 drum set. <laughs> with you know and i'm gonna buy another three thousand dollar speaker even though i'm not in a band you know i'm kind of like you too you know I, I i'm striving for something that is unreachable but if i spend enough money you know to get those speakers that i want my drum set's going to be totally awesome maybe you're the same way where you feel like you gotta just keep going till you reach the certain point to where you know you can say i'm done and I hope you're there <laughs> because you're young and um, you can, you know, you know, you're going to need a lot of storage. <laughs> Let me put it that way. <laughs> if you're going to continue this kind of lifestyle, and we'll work that out. We'll work it out. You and I will get something together because we're in the same boat. I have three drum sets. You have about $80,000 worth of animatronics. We need somewhere to store this dude. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> and then plus once I'm gone you know I want to make sure you're you know making all the right choices yeah who knows maybe you and Eddie will partner up someday and <laughs> do something together you know he's only 14 but what do you want to do when you get big Eddie um. I don't know <laughs> kind of want to play video games and <laughs> And drink Kool Aid. <laughs> just, just make your <laughs> <laughs> drinking Kool Aid sounds awesome, <laughs> right? <laughs> right, yeah. I know it's 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 a lot of pressure to put on you and you know even Jordan and stuff, but but it's something you guys got to be pre be prepared for because it it happens before you know it. One good thing is you guys don't have like a woman in your life, you know. <laughs> 